Grisaia is really one that I just wanted to get to, and the main reason is because people objectively will be able to fucking tell you. Yeah, I, I will completely agree with them in this. If they call it shit, I don't fucking blame them. Because for most of the episode, all it was was eye porn. The art and the animation are absolutely fucking phenomenal. And in some cases, they just looked better than just like... They, they looked like you Voldable was on that bitch. <laughs> and, and I'm not gonna fucking lie about that. But, or, well, we're not counting the blue, but you get the point. In terms of characters, the show just kind of, hey, here's your Tatsuya of the fucking season, but he's not going to be as good as Tatsuya, because Tatsuya's Jesus. Um, <laughs> but here's your fucking badass OP character of the season. Uh, I do like his character, though, because he's a pimp, he's a jerk, he's a player, he's cool. I mean, just like, he, he's just fucking cool. Of course. <laughs> then there are all these other characters you get introduced to, like Amane, who's a slut. You got Makina, uh, who reminds me of what the fuck's her name from Little Busters. You got Michiru, who's the blonde. You got Sakaki, the bitch that's just like, random knife, bitch! And then you got the eight pantsu shots. The comedy was, it was, it was okay, from what I remember. Uh, you know, the one holy scene, they're masturbating. Like, holy shit. <laughs> Um, there were censors, uh, from what I remember, I don't remember them being that bad, but I watched this about a week ago. Uh, main problem is that almost everything that comes out of everybody's fucking mouth is irrelevant. Um, such as, because everything they say, um, like, oh, I'm the leader of this club, there's only fucking six students in the school. You're the only one in the club. That makes it a hobby, not a fucking club. You get the point? Uh, they just throw you into a world, it's not developed, or it's not world built at all, there's no world building whatsoever, here are the characters, fucking deal with them, here's a problem that we don't introduce you to till the, you know, last point of the episode, so it just feels as if they just threw shit in here, just to throw it in there. Overall, I'd give it around like a, either a f high 5, low 6, maybe a 5.55. 5. So this is like the second part of this review, because the first part of this I'm actually going to take from the um, video I was going to do with the first impressions. I have that for the first episode done, so I figured let me just take that for the first episode, collaborate it with this from the second episode, and we'll be completely fine. Uh, so that's gonna work because there was some stuff in the first part of that that I really wanted to show. So, anyways, uh, let's get into Grisaya. Why am I still watching this? I really don't know. The animation is still eye porn. It's still insane, and the art is absolutely phenomenal. But uh, why am I still watching this? There's nothing that happens, and people would just be like, "Well, this is character development." But I really don't still remember half of these characters' names. Yet regardless of it being a visual novel, I I don't remember half of these characters' names. That's a problem. If all of this is character development and I don't know anybody's name, the, the character development's useless. There's no point. It really is. There's really no point. <laughs> but um, let's let's just try to get into this episode. My God. Now let me just go ahead and start off with the bad, so that way we can just end on a good note. Uh, last episode, I'm really irked about this, because they show us a sniper at the end of last episode, making us seem like there's going to be something that happens this episode. But they don't even hint towards what was the point of the sniper at all. And the first episode is really supposed to show you what we're supposed to have coming in store. But here's the problem. The first episode legitimately just showed us, here's all of your boring stuff now, look at this ending and i feel as if that's all every episode is going to do because none of these episodes feel as if like they have any significance at all past just the endings of them and i feel as if like if i have to skip 21 minutes to feel like i'm enjoying something then it, it's not good <laughs> i don't get it oh, okay okay now we're done with all of that, okay? We're done with all of the bad. There's probably more that I forgot, but I won't get to it because it's not on my notes. <laughs> so anyways, um, Kazumi Yuji, aka Onichan, um, I'm just gonna go ahead, start off now and call him Tutsuya. Yeah, you heard me, Tutsuya. See, um, the way I see it, he's Tatsuya, but he's not Tatsuya because he can't be Tatsuya. You're trying to be Tatsuya, so I'll give you some credit. 
Um, you know, you're Tootsie, yeah. There you go. <laughs> but I do like that he's an asshole. I like that he's a jerk. And I think that that really does fit his personality well. Because he can be caring or he can be an absolute jerk. Such as he was to Sakaki. And I think that that's something that can define him. Um, more than somebody like Tatsuya and Mahoka's anime. Because Tatsuya and Mahoka's light novel is like the best character I've seen in fucking years. <laughs> He's great. But um, the other thing is that Sakaki is so senselessly overprotective. And um, what is the point of this? I know that they had said something about it earlier in the episode saying that she doesn't like somebody invading her territory. But I just don't see the point of it right now. Especially since... The only part of territory we've seen is just, like, five girls, and she talks to barely any of them. The fact that she let the other five girls in completely fine is just being biased to the fact that he's a guy. And I just don't, I don't see the point in that. That's, that's all. Um, I will say this. The chibi fight scene should be, like, it just proves this entire thing should just be, like, a, like, it should just get a spinoff where everything's just a chibi. That's it. It would just be absolutely phenomenal. I'd give it a 10 out of 10. I don't even give a fuck. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces.